Hey, what's up? I'm Moldover. I would love to show you guys some of the mappings that I've created for the wing uh, using Guitar Rig. Guitar Rig is the guitar effects software that I use. A lot of these mappings are based on stuff that I've hashed out using my Robocaster guitar, and I've translated a lot of the same concepts over to the wing. Um, so one of the things I love to do is pitch control. I use this group of uh, four buttons to pitch shift in perfect intervals, like so. And I use these two, this little two-part touch strip to uh, bend continuously. And all those go to a pitch shifter and guitar rig, obviously. Um, so you can do a lot of different things with those. Here are some examples. Another mapping I really love is using this touch strip to both gate volume uh, with the on off and modulate a filter with the position. So I can gate volume. And with position, I can change the sound of the filter. So the wing has motion sensors in it, and I love to activate and deactivate those because if you leave them on, it can be kind of uh, unruly. So I use this button here uh, to mute and unmute the motion sensors, which are just attached to a kind of a traditional wah effect. Um, but it's a really fun way to play the wah. It's much more physical, and of course, you know, you could play it from anywhere on stage. So it's like. <laughs> I also love having just stomp box style toggle effects, something I can just punch on and it remains on while I play traditionally. So that's what I use these four switches down at the bottom for. What I love doing is kind of layering and combining effects because it's neat to have just like an auto wah, but how about an auto wah plus a bit crusher? It adds a little spice to an otherwise traditional effect. So that's what I got here. <laughs> This is a bunch of modulation effects together uh, that are running at the tempo of my host. So these are all in time with the song that I'm playing. Um, it sounds like this. Uh, I also love doing uh, reverb with tremolo. So that's what's going on here. Down here I have delay, because who doesn't like delay? Come on. Can layer all those tempo effects and get some really dramatic sounds. So the way I'm routing things is I use Ableton Live as a host, and that's how I trigger sounds, and that's what I play along with when I perform. And I'm using Guitar Rig as a plugin within Ableton Live. So this is my guitar track, this GT Live track here, and you can see a copy of Guitar Rig down here, and this is the Guitar Rig interface up here. So this is a custom rack full of all my favorite effects, and there's a lot of these container things that you can see here, and you can open these up, and uh, you'll see I've got all my all my effects nestled in there. And what's really great about this is I have just have this ridiculously huge, complex uh, rack of effects, but it's all made in guitar rig, so I can bring the same VST into other hosts, or I can run it standalone. Um, all the same mappings uh, that I made for the wing you know, work wherever I'm using guitar rig. And uh, I can just do tons of things in software that would be difficult or impossible in hardware. A lot of these uh, controls on the wing are turning on and off several effects at once. I'm using you know, a huge chain, but because I'm just using things momentarily, you know, I, can, I can control the CPU load and, and have all this crazy stuff going on. 
and as I mentioned earlier, the ability to layer effects and you know have an auto wah plus a, a bit crusher, you know, just to add more flavor to traditional effects. So um, yeah, so that's how my my software is mapped to my hardware. So I'm Moldover. Thanks for checking out how I map out effects with the guitar wing. Uh, I hope you can use that to your own benefit, mapping your own guitar wing. Please help support this Kickstarter. You can really use your help. We want to make this project happen and get these things in the hands of as many people as possible.